Hello everybody and welcome to Across the Pond Gaming Podcast. This will be episode 2. I am your host Priceless MPB and with me is my co-host Mandarsh. Say hello Mandarsh. Hello there everyone. And uh, what do we have uh, to start off Mandarsh? Do we have that uh, discussion of that trailer that we saw? Yeah, the Resident Evil 6 trailer. Um, I don't know, if is there a, actually a specific name for the game yet? Or Oh uh, yeah, it's Resident Evil 6. It, oh, is yeah, it just it Resident showed, Evil 6? Yeah, There's it, no like fancy title. No, I don't think so. I okay. didn't see one. It, well, when when the trailer showed it, just you know, it showed that little scary looking six, and it said Resident yeah. Evil Six. So as far as I know, that's yeah. that's it. But uh, there is another Resident Evil uh, coming out in March, so that might have been what you were confused by. But Resident oh, Evil Six I, yeah, is coming out later on this year. Um, yeah. And uh, judging from the the trailer, which I will I'll most likely link if I forget to link it, somebody in the comments remind me, and I'll put a link in the description. But it looks fucking awesome. Um, mm-hmm. What are your What are your impressions? What do you, What did you uh, What stood out uh, when you watched it? Uh, mainly the sort of epic movie like music oh, in the background. Definitely. And... It was definitely like a like a real cinematic. It um, was a movie tra- trailer. Yeah. That was, it was like all dark and scary and. But like also, the, it wasn't just one of those teasers. It, it actually showed some gameplay as well, which was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Most trailers nowadays are all sort of a. Uh, uh, what's it called? CGI, yeah, um, exactly. kind of stuff. All the cutscenes of the game, if that. And uh, but yeah, th- this one showed quite a lot of gameplay actually, more than more than expected from a usual trailer, and was really good. Yeah, it was. Uh, it I, was so awesome. Yeah. Like I, I like how uh, it, it kind of hinted to where there were like maybe three different pathways you could take. Uh, I saw yeah. at one point there was Leon, and then at another point, and they all looked sort of different. Like all the gameplay looked different. Like Leon's um, gameplay that it showed, it showed a, it seemed a little bit more like, um, you know, the 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 original Resident Evil Four kind of over the shoulder look, but it also had more freedom because like you could see him like, you could see him rolling under enemies and like sliding yeah. on his back, shooting while he's sliding on the ground, like all kinds of really cool moves you could pull off. And then uh, it showed Chris Redfield, and he had a little bit more of a a, a Gears of War like or Army of Two sort of mm-hmm. movement. It seemed like. Uh, he seemed like he was a lot like he. You could see him taking cover on a wall at one point and shooting at some enemies. You know, getting into a firefight, and then it shows somebody else like who was just like beating the shit out of people. Like he didn't even have a weapon. It was just some dude yeah. just like just beating, beating, beating shit people. up. Yeah, it was cool. Like I don't know. It's one of the. It was one of the most entertaining trailers I've ever seen. I've watched it like probably three or four times, just trying to, trying to you know get as much out of it as I, as I could. But you know, it was really cool. Yeah, I mean, I had to confess, uh, I actually haven't played any of the other games. Yeah. Um, Resident Evil Five, I think, was the last sort of Xbox title. Yeah. And uh, that looked really good when it came out, but uh, I never actually got around to getting it or borrowing it or playing it at all. So the only Resident Evil stuff that I've actually seen is is your stuff. Really? So, um, yeah. Well, yeah, Resident that's, Evil that's Four really was a really big thing because uh. Like all the Resident Evil games beforehand, they were they were all they were basically just meant to be scary, and uh, you know they had these fixed camera angles. Like you couldn't move the camera. Um, like I guess it was to add to the like to the scariness, to where you didn't know exactly yeah. what was coming at you. But you know you can't do that with games nowadays. So when Resident Evil Four came out, it added that you know third person over the shoulder view. So you had a lot mm-hmm. more uh, freedom with the camera. You could you know you could move camera wherever you wanted to see. So that was cool, and it had like a really good storyline. It was really like it had really awesome dialogue, great voice actors, lots of action, um, you know, some some okay puzzles, I guess. Um, and it was really it was a really big deal when it came out. Um, Resident Evil Five, it was a, it was a good game, you know, for sure. But like they didn't they didn't um, um, evolve the game any, I guess. They didn't add much to it. It was basically the exact same format, you know. It was kind of yeah. you know you have to stand still while you shoot. You know, it's the same over the shoulder. Look, and there was really no, there was no um. God, what's the word? I don't innovative know. Innovative feature. The, yeah, it was. There was no in, innovative feature to it. It was kind of the same thing. I mean, it was. It was good. Like the game looked great. It was a you know a good storyline. You could play co-op with your friends over Xbox Live, mm-hmm. or uh, you know locally. It was a good game, but it, there was nothing like new to it. Nothing pushing the yeah. envelope. And it looks like this Resident Evil Six. It's going to be fucking amazing. Yeah. Well, if it's anything. Like the trailer, if it oh turns out God, anything yeah. like that, then I probably will definitely 
Well, probably definitely. I'll probably definitely. <laughs> I'm going to probably definitely get it. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely get it if it's anything like that. So, yeah, that's yeah, totally awesome. It's really good. I even remember, like, I, I think I saw uh, that trailer on on my Facebook because I, I like the the show X Play. It's a show over here in the states. I don't know if you've seen it. I don't know if it shows uh, no. over there, but it's a. Uh, there's this channel over here called G4, and then they have a bunch of gaming related stuff. And there's a show on it called X Play, and I'm you know I liked it on Facebook. And on my Facebook, I happened to check it one day, and it showed that trailer, and I was like, "Wow, that's really cool! I'm gonna check it out." And you know, I was I was fucking stoked after I saw that. Is that actually like a TV channel over there then? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's like it was. <laughs> yeah, it's not. And it's not like as that. devoted to games as it used to be. It used to be. Um, um, it had this game called Cheat, where it would show you all these cheat codes and all like these strategies to beat certain games. It, they had a show called Arena, where it had these two teams every episode playing each other in different games. They used to play SOCOM and Unreal Tournament, and uh, they'd play fighting games, and these two teams would battle each other for a prize. And uh, it was it was really cool back in the day. But then they kind of, you know, it turned more into like a you know tech stuff and like just showing off new gadgets and stuff and. Mm. Their main show is uh, called Attack of the Show now, which is mostly like a talk show for gadgets and games and stuff. But they still do have that one show, X Play, that's like devoted to you know reviewing games and showing off new releases and stuff like that. So you know, it's not oh. as I mean, it's still a great channel, but it's just not as a uh, game related as it used to be. Yeah, wish we had something around here. Like yeah, that. that'd be pretty good. But yeah, you know, we haven't even got anything like that that shows any kind of gaming stuff. There used to be one sort of show that they put on one channel over there, I can't remember what channel it was, but it was like half an hour in, like really early in the morning of just like new release sort of games and that was it, and then that took off about five years ago, it got taken off, so well, shit. yeah, we, we don't have anything like that. Well that is just unfortunate, I guess, uh, I don't know. Well, you, you've got all that sort of MLG stuff. Yeah, we've got a lot of... Uh, yeah, we're we're really extremely in, into video over. game oriented over here in the States. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a, the It's a massive part of it. our culture. But uh, anyways, uh, I guess the next topic, since we're, uh, we've talked a little bit about that Resident Evil, which I'm really fucking stoked for, but the next topic mm-hmm. we can go ahead and discuss. Uh, I, I went to GameStop yesterday, and because uh, I got a little bit of money from my financial aid, and I wanted to get a couple games, so I went and I got... I got uh, Skyrim, um, Saints Row the Third, and the cat is jumping. Stop doing that, you little fucker. <laughs> I got Saints Row the Third and um, um, the Halo Anniversary Edition. And uh, all right, yeah. Like when I was there, the guy um, he said uh, if I got, if I bought these used versions, and uh, I get this little card, and it would kind of pay for it. And so now I, I had this little card. But that's not the point. The point is, uh, I also got a year subscription to this uh, to Game Informer magazine, and uh, it's really cool because I, I learned that there's this new South Park RPG coming out, and it's it, it looks uh. it looks really awesome. I don't know, it's like because like every South Park game that's ever been made is like really not good at all, but this one, I don't know, it's because it's being made by the same people who made a uh, Dungeon Siege three, and uh, it's being made by oh, fuck what's the name Obsidian, the people that made Fallout New Vegas, yeah, yeah those guys. They're making this um, with you know, and they're writing it along with uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, of course, who make South Park. So it's gonna be fucking awesome. Um, what are your thoughts on this little bit of news? Uh, the game? Yeah. Sure, whatever. <laughs> uh. Are you? Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if South Park's a big deal over in the in the UK, but it's fucking huge here in the states. Yeah, it, it's it's shown on a couple of channels, but uh, it, it's it's more. I, it's weird to say it's more sort of a kids thing because really? clearly the content isn't. But um, I don't, I don't know. It's it's kind of like a sort of teenage thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've I've never really watched it. So, oh uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, but it's really offensive. Like every every episode, somebody like fucking flips their shit and starts you know threatening yeah. to sue. But you know it's it's South Park. I mean they. How they how they make their episodes is they make every episode within a week, and they they like Comedy Central, the channel that airs it. They don't know what's on the episode before they they show it, like they don't <laughs> watch it before they show it. They just like hey okay give us the episode and now we're gonna air it. It literally usually gets done the day it's supposed to air, and then they air it, and like they have no idea what's gonna be shown at all. So like I, I'm surprised like they actually have that sort of a 
that sort of a leniency for uh, for for the people who make South Park. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm really excited to see what the game's going to be because I've seen I've seen pictures and I've seen shit, and my cat is fucking making noise. But I've seen <laughs> pictures and shit and uh, of the gameplay, and it looks just like the cartoon. Like it's exactly the same. Like it's like you're actually controlling the cartoon. I mean, it's it's weird. Like how how pinpoint accurate they made the graphics look for the game. Is it like a 2D then? Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing, yeah. Yeah, it's sort of 2D-ish. Um, I Platformer mean, type yeah. thing. Yeah, well, it's... Uh, they, like, the basic setup of it, from what I understand, is that you play as like the new kid in town, and you're trying to make friends, and like there's different classes. You can be a wizard, a paladin, a rogue, uh, an adventurer, or some, and then there's a secret one that uh, they're not going to tell us until the game releases, I believe. It's something that Cartman makes up. And uh, I can only assume what kind of offensive, ridiculous uh, <laughs> shit that's going to be. And I have to go fucking shut my cat up. I'm mean, speak speak to the audience for a second. I have to go like smack my cat in the face. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Uh, across the pond does not promote animal violence, but on this occasion, we we are accepting it to uh to shut Matt's cat up. Because, as you probably know from his videos, it does tend to take over, jumping around, being a ninja, that kind of stuff. But uh, not today. We are the focus of this podcast. Not All right. Some cat. Great job. Way to uh, way to take over for me there. I know. That cat was annoying the fuck out of me. It would not shut the. I don't know if you could hear it, but. Oh yeah, I could. <laughs> oh my god, it was so fucking annoying. I just I just shut it up in the other room. Like, I, I started running at it, and it scared it into the other room, and I just fucking shut the door. <laughs> to run around chasing it, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's, uh, that game, the South Park game, it looks like it's gonna be really awesome, because, you know, it is being made by people who know how to make a fucking good RPG, so I'm actually yeah. really stoked for it, and that's, that's gonna come out sometime in, uh, later this year, probably towards the fall or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm, I'm um, sure I'll be getting that. Definitely. No. <laughs> also, it says uh, in this Game Informer, it gave WWE 12 a five out a five point five out of ten, which is uh, not good. <laughs> I and I've played. That's a wrestling played, game, isn't it? I, yeah, I played WWE 12. It's a. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it deserved a five. It should probably deserve like maybe a six or seven. But I mean, five seems kind of low. But, I mean, I understand, like, I read the review, and I understood why they gave it a 5. Because, you know, it, I've played it, it's kind of, it's fun, but it's like, you know, it's just, I don't, it's hard to explain. Like, there's no really good story mode to it that I played. And uh, I'm actually contemplating whether I actually want to buy it, because I was going to buy the game, because I was really stoked for it, and, you know, I, I do yeah, like... Yeah, I remember you saying. Yeah, I do like wrestling games and shit, but, hmm, you know, I've, I've right. played it, and now, I don't know. New topic. New topic. What 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 other yeah. topics? Uh, think of a topic. My topic. All right. Special let's do it. secret topic. Uh, over the well, I don't know over there, but um, have you been hearing lots of new rumors about the Xbox Seven Twenty? You know what? I have not. Go really. Go on. Lead me with Ooh. this discussion. <laughs> Basically, the whole of this week, um, big stories have been emerging about the uh successor to the Xbox 360 and uh, there's a lot of attention surrounding it around rumours and sort of unconfirmed reports of um, new stuff uh, that's going to be included and I uh, thought I'd just touch on that seeing as um, yeah. that is our main console of choice and uh, a couple of rumours I'm just going to round them up um, quickly so I will be ranting about here but uh, go on. one Rant away. of the rumours is it will be six times as powerful. There's going to be some new hardware, apparently. Nice, um, Going dude. into the device, uh, which is a AMD Radeon graphics card, which I'm pretty sure is the sort of top market ones. Yeah. Uh, for uh, PCs mm -hmm. and uh, stuff alike. So, hold on real quick. Um, since you say it's yeah. going to be six times more powerful, like, how many... Like I'm not super computer tech savvy, but the Xbox 360s they they maxed out at 60 frames a second, right? And most games uh, only run yeah. at 30. Anyways, how how much how many frames per second do you think 
they can boost it up to with a you know that much more power because I know computers can go up to into the hundreds. Like, how much do you think? Oh, I don't. They might be able to boost it a bit, but um, the FPS doesn't just rely on the console itself. It's a, it's actually um part of the game as well. Yeah. The uh, the way that you design the game, so it will probably just for most games stick at sixty, but there'll probably be around. If this is true, of course, um, there'll be probably something around I don't know probably seventy or eighty. It might go up a bit. All right. Uh, but um, yeah, I th- I think the thing that's hinting with the more power thing is that there might be sort of multi-display um features for the three well seven twenty even. So you can have two TVs hooked up to it and Damn. have sort of uh, double monitored kind of thing going on. That would be awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, 3D aspects might be hinted as well. And uh, 1080p, which is already present. Um, cutting on to another rumour, we have Blu-ray. Uh, another report that came in this week is the new console might include a Blu-ray drive which uh, obviously Sony uh, has the Blu-ray in the PS3 Mm -hmm. um, and Xbox only had the uh, to combat that I think they brought out the DVD attachment thing (laughs) Uh, do you know about that? it was like some kind of like thing that you could put DVDs in yeah uh, yeah, yeah, it might come out with Blu-ray so um, I don't know maybe hinting that the Xbox isn't just for gaming now, obviously with all the Kinect stuff and yeah, apps, YouTube, Love Film. Maybe they're trying to get into the more film entertainment related thing. Uh oh my god, I'm ranting so much here. Right, <laughs> um, a pretty big rumor also is that um, it's been sort of rumored that perhaps. There will be no used games that will be available on the 720. It's kind of controversial news. Um, basically, that it would not allow used games to be played on it. Hmm. Uh, to I, I have no idea why they would do that, because that is just dropping their game sales, in yeah, my opinion. Like I, but, uh, how, how does that work? What do, you, what do you mean by that? Like, Um... Apparently, there's going to be sort of one-time use or like authentic. Yeah, I can't say that word. Authentication codes. Hmm. So the first time you put in a game, you'll get a code. You can only use it once. Therefore, no used games will be able to be played because each require a code. So uh, at, at the moment, sort of EA do online passes. Uh, so, you it's it's basically you know like Microsoft Point codes. Yeah. You you type that in, you get an online pass to an EA game, which you can only link once with um, that console, I believe. So Microsoft might be implementing that into their own brand games, oh, man, so that every game like... can only be used once. So. Yeah, I I think that's a bit stupid because uh, then obviously people can't trade in games, and then. Like how would, how would how renting games cheaper. work? Like you couldn't rent you games. From... Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I actually never even thought of that. That yeah, would completely like screw up the whole entire market <laughs> of renting games. Yeah, I don't. I don't see how that could like that would fuck over a lot of people. Um, I mean, obviously, sites like GameFly or Blockbuster or any other any yeah, smaller game renting place. I mean, the idea of renting games in general, like in order to play a game, you have to buy it. Just just yeah. to play it, I mean, I don't. That's a. I really hope that kind of feature doesn't get implemented because that's like. It's kind of. It's kind of bullshit. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, put it bluntly. Yeah, it, uh, one thing that they might do with that, which hasn't been rumored or anything, but if they're bringing out sort of the no used game thing, uh, they might try and sort of go more towards downloading games yeah so all new games will have a downloadable version therefore you can download it but 
you don't have to buy the disc, maybe? maybe. I don't know. That's that's a random rumour which probably no one would want to come true, especially used game people. I think it would be cool if the new consoles had sort of a uh, an auto uh, record feature for games. Like, you didn't have to have a capture card. Aha! Uh-huh. I'm getting onto it. Oh, really? Is that I am something? getting onto it. Oh, go on ahead. Oh, then. you called it. Um, I might as well do that one next. Um, pretty big story uh, last week, I think, was that this was this kind of actually started off the whole rumor train of the 720 that um it will have some kind of integrated game recorder that uh will allow HD record uh, recording for any game put nice. in so it's not game specific um, awesome yeah yeah so you can record while you're playing uh without any sort of external thing I'm not sure how that would sort of connect to a PC to work or whether the file would actually you would be just, saved uh, on the Xbox. Either maybe it's wirelessly, you know how you can connect Xboxes to Ooh. computers wirelessly, or maybe, maybe like a little, like a, one little cord or something. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, you never know. I'm, I'm sure there are ways to, uh, to do it. Yeah, but yeah, basically a uh, HD PVR for the Xbox already in the Xbox. Yeah. And just another quick one. This is the final one. <laughs> I've been going for about 10 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, no more Microsoft points. Hmm. Uh, yeah, kind of a weird rumour. Um, apparently, they sort of might be phasing out the Microsoft points, which would have sort of big sort of effects on the new system. Um it says that many gamers find Microsoft points to be sort of a waste of time um, to buy points to then buy something else. So they might be sort of adopting uh, you put money on to your account yeah, rather than buying Microsoft points to, to then spend them on something. You just sort of cut out the middleman. I guess it kind of makes uh, sense, but uh, then yeah, again... Kinda, yeah. What if you just want to buy a gift for somebody, you know, just buying some Microsoft points so they can get, like, a new map pack or something like that? Because, you know, Microsoft points do make sense, and I, I mm. do understand, like, the reasoning, um, you know, to get rid of them, but, like, what if, uh, like, you, ha- you have, like, I don't know, you have a kid and you don't want to put, I-, I don't know, you don't want to put a bunch of money or you don't want to put any money or you, wanna, you don't want to put your card on their account or something, you just want to buy them some Microsoft points or something? We well, yeah, kind of a, so instead of like putting your credit card information in and putting some money on there, because then you got your credit card information on that account, you know, it kind of it stays <laughs> yeah. there. So I speaking mean, of that, um, when my account got hacked, um, uh, it must have been over a year ago now, year and a bit. Um, my account got hacked for a bit, and uh, my one of my parents' credit cards was linked to it. Oh, man. Um, because I didn't... I, I couldn't bother to buy marks of points. And the guy who hacked it spent 80 quid oh, worth of money. Like, actual <laughs> money. Um, Shit. On buying a ton of stuff. See, that's... that's on, yeah, that's online. fucking... Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, that was really annoying. See, Microsoft points so. are kind of like a, a safety net. Like, if you don't want to put your credit card on your account, you can just go to the store and buy some Microsoft points. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I, I get them for, like, gifts as, all the time, yeah. really. And that and sort of subscriptions and stuff like that is sort of main gifts. But yeah, yeah, that kind of concludes the Xbox 720 wrap-up of rumours. None of them by the way, have been confirmed, so absolutely none of them have, but uh, I'm sure something... Some of them must be correct, because you listed like seven. So, some of them seven, must have so. some kind of truth behind them. <laughs> yeah. In order yeah. to list so many rumours, some of them have to be correct. That's just the way it yeah, works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Otherwise, I've just wasted everyone's yeah, time exactly. for like 15 minutes. Time waster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck. Anyways, um... Man, I'll tell you what, I'm really I'm really stoked to play these new games I just bought. Saints Row, um, Halo Anniversary, and Skyrim. I was reading up on oh. Skyrim a little bit, and it says uh, yeah. you can just play that game for hours and hours and just hundreds of hours and not fucking 
be even close to being done, which is ridiculous. That any game could be like that these days. Yeah, there's like uh, I think I had like forty forty hours or something barely takes you into the game. And I was like, well, Jesus. Even I'm, I'm No, yeah. go ahead, my bad. Oh, I was just gonna say I am I'm gonna rent it from a mate hopefully soon to uh to see what it's all about. Yeah, even when I first got Fallout three, that game isn't really it doesn't have that many quests on it if you really think about it, but I like I still played Fallout three like probably the most out of any single player game I've ever played except for Oblivion. Um, Oblivion, yeah. when when my friend Corey first got his Xbox, Oblivion was one of the first games he got because it came out, I don't know if it was a release title or if it came out like right after the Xbox, I can't really remember, but it was pretty early on. And mm. uh, when he got that game, like my like me and my friend Brent and Corey, we would always we would always go out over to his house and just fucking, just, we would just hog his Xbox. Like we never even let Corey play his own Xbox because like, because he had that game, we were always over there playing it. Like, I put so many hours into that game, and it wasn't even my Xbox. That's that's the <laughs> funny thing. That I've played that game the most, probably out of any game, and like it wasn't even my game. It's it's insane how I don't know how these games can just kind of suck you in like that. Which is why I'm kind of apprehensive to even play it now that I bought it. But I know I I know I will uh, that I'll enjoy it when I do play it. All right, just give me one second. I'm just <clears throat> taking my top off. What? <laughs> All right, sounds good. That was that was silly of you to say. Men don't right, say back. men don't say taking my top off. What? You call it your top? You talking about my your top? shirt? Well, it's not a shirt. Well, it doesn't have a collar. Shirts have collars. It's a top. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Hey, mate, British, all right. Yeah, I different forget, language. I forget, I forget. Talked about we this. Have, we have different customs. Speaking of yeah. which, uh, we the last time we did Ooh, a good uh, lead. Yeah, the last time we did our podcast afterwards, after we were done, we just we were discussing a little bit, you know, um, like the differences in our education system and things like that, and you know, we I kind of thought it would be a good topic to talk about, so. I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about the American education system, at least from what I have, you know, experienced. Um, yeah. There's a, there are different, there are different education systems here in America. There's the, uh, the public education, which is fucking awful. And then there's private. And of course, if you go to a private school, you're going to pay a lot of money and you're probably going to get a much better education, but that's not, you know, nobody can fucking afford that because nobody can afford anything in this country because everything is so fucking expensive and you have to yeah. pay for a thousand billion dollars for everything so most people just go to public schools um and the reason the public schools are so bad is because um you know the teachers aren't paid well all kinds of shit like that just a bunch of kids are just thrown into these fucking schools and no one gives a shit so um like from from the age uh from about age six you go into something called kindergarten then first second third um, you know, go, all these grades all the way up to 12th, and you spend, like, fucking, like, 12 fucking years, um, learning nothing, basically, and, uh, <laughs> that's where I find myself now, like, I, I was always, you know, semi-intelligent, like, I, I, I would always get, you know, straight A's in school and stuff like that whenever I, you know, semi-tried, um, but, you know, that's the reason I was able to get into college, is because it, it looked like I was really smart, because, you know, I, you know, I, had good grades, but that's only because the the work was so easy and we never had to do anything. Now that I find myself in college, um, college here is a place, for one, it's extremely expensive because, you know, it, it's not paid for by the government, like, you know, in, in some other countries it is. But mm. here, everything's so fucking expensive. It's like, you know, it's kind of like the private schools, like, where you actually get an education, you have to fucking pay a shit ton of money to, to do it, so um, I find myself, like, kind of behind where I think I should be, like, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling a lot more than I thought I would, and, you know, just because I'm actually trying to learn something, and I think, uh, you know, the education system here is, like, that it's a, it's a huge problem, and I, I don't know, it's, a uh, it's strange because, like, we spend, we spend so many years in school before we get to college, and we learn nothing, like, I'm just now learning things, and it's, it seems so fucking ridiculous to me, because I never thought about it before, 
So uh, I was curious because, yeah. like, you told me uh, a little bit, like, yours, yours is a little bit different. So, uh, you know, go ahead and, like, what, what are the what are the grades, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, uh, every, hold on, like, every yeah, year, like. I, I think I get what you yeah, mean. Yeah, like, what, how do you progress um, throughout school, I guess is what I'm trying to say. How do I go? Sorry. How do you like progress? Like as you age, like you go into this right. grade and this grade, and then you go to college and university, and like how does it yeah. go for you? Um, year four. Uh, no, year four. Uh, at the age of four, we start. Um, so we you're have already, primary you're school. You're already two years ahead of us. So yeah. Yeah, we're primary school. Then it's secondary school, college, university. So primary school is from about four to 10 uh, years in age and uh, there you cover sort of basic kind of stuff and at the end of year 6 which is when you're age 10 Mm -hmm. um, you do your what's called SATs SATs and uh, that will then lead you on to secondary school Uh, secondary school goes from when you're 11 to uh, 15 um, so that's year 7 to 11 and uh, there you will do your GCSEs and um, throughout the whole thing in year 9 when you're 13 you pick subjects um, and then further do GCSEs in the subjects that you choose uh, you're still with me? you're following yeah, me? yeah I'm following you okay cool um, then we've got college from 16 to 17 where we will do our A levels and A2s uh, advanced A levels and um, yeah that's that's where I am right now and uh, that's kind of where the work kicks in I mean primary school is just like so easy it's all the sort of basic stuff um, up I, until about yeah teaching you how to I read know, and whatnot. I, uh, I'd say about year four, which is when you're eight, that is when sort of the sort of actual learning kicks in, and then suddenly in year six, when you're ten, uh, you actually have to do some kind of exam, and then you're all panicky. And uh, secondary school, it's basically easy first two years, then year nine when you actually have to pick a subject, um, well three subjects to do then you kind of realise, oh, we actually have to do work, and then you panic on until you leave with with the best results that you can go with, and uh, it's basically the same in college. At college, you just get um, chucked in the deep end, whether you know it or not, and, um, yeah, no one really helps you out or anything, so that's cool. And then after college, we have university, which uh, can obviously go up, for three years plus, so uh, so yeah, yeah, it's 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 so different because like the way the way it's set up here is uh from about kindergarten to you know it it varies from school to school. About fifth or sixth grade is called elementary school or grade school, so people call it. Then you go yeah. into uh, what some people call middle school or junior high, which is you know varies from sixth to eighth grade. And then ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth—that's uh, that's high school, and it's like, like I didn't learn anything throughout any of that. It seems, and it's it's <laughs> funny to me because uh, like I hear most like Asian countries like they don't even take the same sort of test that we take because they what what we have what we have to learn in twelve years they learn in like six or something. It's fucking mm. ridiculous. Like, like it seems like every that's China for you. It seems like every country is like ahead of us in education and shit and uh when do you when do you sort of start in sort of actual proper education when you when you have to go uh when we have to go is uh, when we're six years old in kindergarten you really have, you have to go yeah you don't have to go anywhere till you're about six and wow i didn't learn how to um multiply until i was nine and i was in third grade and you know that's wow. when i learned how to multiply and divide and then that's also when I learned how to use cursive. And then I then after fourth grade, you never use cursive ever again. So third and fourth grade, you learn cursive, then you forget cursive. And then, uh, oh, fuck. And, like, there's no, 
there's no like history and geography are combined so you don't really learn much of either one it's combined into one subject called social studies so you really don't <laughs> learn much of either one it's kind of you know one topic and then you know all the once you get to high school no one really gives a shit and all the teachers don't fucking care because they're not paid that well so they don't really they don't really push you like my english teacher basically i, I might have told you this already but i don't remember if i have like in from my ninth grade year until i graduated my english class we never wrote a single paper until my senior year we wrote one paper in uh it wasn't even fucking close to being the way it should have been. Um, what we would do every week is we'd have a list of spelling words and vocab, and you would learn 10 vocab words, and you would learn 10 spelling words, and that's it. We didn't learn English. I don't know what the fuck that dude was doing working there, but we wow. didn't, like, I didn't, and, I, like, everything I know about the English language, I've taught myself. So, like, every now and then you'll hear me kind of say something like, grammatically incorrect you know because i live in I, i'm from the south so like we people like to say ain't and shit like that and uh, i don't like that and they'll say y'all and you know just you know they'll say all kinds of horribly grammatically incorrect shit and uh, it bugs me and i do i do catch it but everything i know about the english language i've taught myself and uh i had to drop my first english college class because i couldn't fucking do it i couldn't handle right. it like english is my native language and i couldn't fucking handle it like the first, yeah, because I just, I learned nothing. I did spelling words and vocab <laughs> all throughout high school. That was it. That, that is really sort of, I don't know, strange to hear. Because we start, we, we start two uh, years yeah. earlier. And we probably learned sort of really basic stuff. Like like you said, times in and stuff yeah. at about five or six mm -hmm. and then gets progressively harder yeah that's just basic shit multiplying and dividing and people yeah. think like oh they can't know that until they're nine or ten years old and i'm just like looking back i'm like yeah, i probably could have done that when i was younger you know you could you could have taught me that when i was seven or eight it's not that hard i mean don't even fucking get me started on you know like high school geometry and trig like I, I i took a algebra one two geometry and trig in high school and i you know i just fucking i was okay at it but i mean our math teacher didn't really give a fuck like i said um especially our school it was like a really small school there was there was one math teacher for the entire school we taught every math class because like we had probably 22 people in my graduating class so you can imagine how small all the classes were so i mean yeah uh, it was. I had the same English teacher every year in high school. I had the same math teacher. So I mean, they really didn't give a fuck because they had to teach all kinds of different classes. They couldn't really focus on uh, one subject, so they'd just be like, I don't know. They would they would half-ass everything, and like, I, I I passed my classes. You know, a lot of classes I got A's in, but I mean, it really didn't do me any good. Like I said, I had to drop my first English class in college. So is that what you call like public school then? Yeah, yeah, that's public school. Is that kind of the sort of worst one over there? Pretty much, yeah. Like, if you if you have the dough, you can pay quite a bit of money and go to private school, and you can get a really good education. But, you know, most people can't do that because, like, I'm sure you might, you probably already know this, like, even health care here is not, like, we don't have free health care. Everything, we have to pay for yeah, everything. Yeah, we'd have to pay for everything. So if, like, if I was to, uh, if I was to get really sick and I had to go to the hospital, I would be paying that off for like years, probably. If you know, because they they'll charge you so much just to walk in the door, and you know, just wow. to be seen by a doctor. So like, if someone gets sick, like they don't even want to go to the hospital. It's 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 really bad. Your country is weird, man. Yeah, it's it's not it's not great. <laughs> I mean, it's it's better than some countries, but I mean, there's a lot of stuff like. The the two main things I wish they would fix is probably the healthcare and the education system because, you know, I'm I'm semi lucky. Like I'm I'm kind of okay at teaching myself stuff, but I didn't learn any sort of study skills in school. So like even now in college, like I I, I don't I don't know how to study if that makes sense to you. Like I can't yeah. I can't you know it's hard for me to teach myself stuff. It's hard for me to sit down and like read and take notes on things. 
and you know know what to remember and how to remember different stuff so it's like it's really hard for me you know when i i completely breeze through high school and you know all my other school but now that i'm in college and i actually have to do something it's like it's a hundred times harder and i i don't know how to study it's it's really it's really strange for me no it's just but that's it's weird <laughs> how completely different it is yeah oh it's it's not even similar in any way don't you guys it's have weird. uh health care like free health care uh nhs yeah national health service so yeah any, anything like that is sort of free to the public because yeah that seems like a, a no-brainer though like something that you just you should have you know yeah. it's like it seems kind of obvious like hey uh our citizens might need health care, so let's do that. Yeah. You know, I mean... I've never understood why you lot don't have it over there. It's weird. Canada has it. Canada has health care. Like, you need... You know, you get sick, you just go to the hospital, don't worry about it. I don't, I don't see, like, just our neighbors just right there to the north. They have it yeah. figured out, but, like, we can't... We can't, like, spy on them a little bit and see how they do it and just figure it out. I don't, I don't know how... Well, do you know what that is? <laughs> it's it's because they they still like the queen. Yeah. Yeah, you of lot course. you don't accept us. <laughs> it's because we rebelled and now you're just. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're on our own. Like yeah, fuck you guys <laughs> and your revolution. You guys can fuck off now. Yeah. Have your bad health care and your bad education. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's uh. what we get for trying to uh do whatever it is we fucking did. I don't even care. <laughs> I wish I wish we were still uh, under the British rule. That'd be awesome. Then we'd be paying with pounds and whatever that Q word is, quin or some shit, quid, quad. I don't know what. What's the word? What? What's that word? Quid. Quid. Yeah, we'd we'd be paying with quid and pounds and our you, money. You do would have realize that it's not money. a separate. I don't currency. I I don't realize that. Obviously, I don't. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it, it we pay in pounds. Yeah. Quid is just like a term that just means money. Okay, that's stupid. I'm sorry. It, <laughs> it, it it's, it's not like dumb. oh here's ten quid. It's ten <laughs> pounds, but that's what we call. Do you quid. use? Uh, do you still quid, use uh, shillings? You are shillings. Shit. Yes, we still have shillings. <laughs> uh, what about, no, of uh, course we don't. We we have pounds and pennies. Pennies? Oh fuck! What is what is the use of a penny? We have a uh, we have pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars. Oh my um, god! Well, oh, we we have one man. one pound, and then the pennies are one p, two p, five p, ten p, twenty p, fifty p. And then the pound. So all of the pennies make up a pound. Five pounds equals five pounds. And then just like that. Well, I would have never been able to guess that five pounds would have equaled five pounds. That's insane. Well, that's your education <laughs> system for you. Exactly. That's, that's the U.S. education <laughs> system. <laughs> fucking me there. Oh, man. Speaking of speaking of fucking me over there. Um, oh, hello. I went to... Uh, I, I, I recently discovered that um, well, not recently. Um, back when I was in Oklahoma over the break, I went to the casino with my parents because uh, you know it was my birthday, and they're like, "Hey, let's take him to the casino." He's twenty-one, so uh, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, you know, I showed them my ID, and they're like, "Hey, um, this is expired, by the way." And I was like, "Oh shit, that's right. I, you know, I haven't fucking checked it since I got it. So I, I got it back in '08. Um, so I checked, and it had been expired since March of last year." <laughs> and I've been driving all over the place with it expired. I don't think it'll really do anything until it's expired for like a year, and which is fucking weird. But anyways, you know, I, well, really? I, in order for me to uh to get it wow. renewed, I I have to have like you don't just need your your license because obviously I have my license. You know, I I mean it's right here in my hand. But I also need my social security card, my birth certificate, um, some other form of ID. I don't even remember. But it's like Possible. all this, all this shit I need. Like, you, like you see the fucking license in my hand. But no, <laughs> obviously I need twenty more forms of ID in order to fucking get it renewed. And if I don't get it renewed 
by March of this year, um, if I don't get my birth certificate, then I have to, like, retake the fucking driving test here, yeah. which is fucking stupid, but, I mean, it's just like, why, why, for one, why do you have to make it to where it expires three years after you get it? Like, isn't that a little bit ridiculous? I mean, no one's going to be paying attention to their license, you know, that much. Like, oh, I better every morning check my license. It's on my to-do list, on my agenda. Oh, Make sure you check your license. That's what happens over here as well. Yeah, like, why, why, for one, why why make it expire three years after you get it? You know, people have shit to do. They can't be checking their license every <laughs> fucking, every month to see when it expires. Two, why make me jump through fucking 20 loops just to get fucking, like, 10 forms of ID when I have my license in my hand? You know it's me. Just fucking renew it. I mean, I don't, I don't get that. Like, because in order for me to get my birth certificate, you know, I have to get it from Oklahoma, which is 800 miles away. So I have to fucking call this place and give them, like, 30 fucking dollars, have them mail it to me on this special paper with the raised seal and the the state something approval stamp. I don't even know. what It's wait, fucking wait. dumb. Wait, so you don't have your birth certificate? No. It's in, like, I, I did, but it's like, we can't find the original one, so I have to get a new one. Oh, wow. And it, I, I can only get it from Tulsa, where I was born, yeah. and... Like, we have to go online and pay them, then they're going to mail it to us. Because it, ha- it, like, it couldn't be a copy. It couldn't be a photocopy. No, it has to be, like, a legit, on the official birth certificate paper with, uh, you know, all this bullshit on it. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. oh, my God. Can't just look at my license and see that it's me. You have to have 20 <laughs> points of ID. So, that's that's fun. But, you know, if I, if I, don't, get, if I don't get it by uh, March, which I've already sent off for it, so it should be in the mail right now on its way, but... You know, if I if I had forgotten, you know, if I if I never, you know, realized that my license was expired and I didn't get it checked until after March, I would have had to retake the test, which would have been fucking well, annoying. Well, I don't have to worry about that for a couple of years yet. So. So be a, yeah. Let that be a lesson to you. Check your license every every <laughs> day. Make sure you know when it's going to expire. Every day. Oh my god, it's like it's just something so trivial that no one needs to fucking worry about. Why? Why make your license even expire? Make it expire. Like make it expire when you're like seventy or something. When <laughs> when it's really important that you need to know if you can drive or not. You know, then do it. Not not three years after you get it when I'm fucking when I'm twenty. Come on, fucking ass clowns. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, the U.S. government can't fuck me enough with the education system and the healthcare. They have to fuck me over on my on my license too. That's fun. Great job, great job, U.S. Suck a oh. cock. All right, I'm I'm done with my rant. <laughs> really? You yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm I'm done with that. Did you have anything <laughs> else to uh to add to uh, this um, episode? I think we covered quite a lot actually. Yeah, in this we one. did. I had so, a lot of fun with this this episode. It was it was nice. Yeah, it was a good one. Yeah. So, uh, when are you gonna make a an intro and an outro for us? Oh wow! Just give me, give me, give me a chance. Come on. <laughs> uh let, let's let's say by next episode. All right. So I'll go ahead and uh, upload this one then. And uh, I'll, I'll have one. And uh, yeah, just a reminder um, for all the all the episodes, the one before this, this one, and all the rest of them. There will be links in the description. So for all the the next episodes from now on, and you know every episode ever, there will be links for you guys to download it in case you guys you know have to uh, have to skedaddle and go somewhere. You want to listen to it on the go? You can do that. So yeah, in the yeah. toilet, you can do that as well. Yeah, definitely. For forty eight minutes, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you want to spend, yeah, you want to spend forty eight <laughs> minutes. Um, I don't know if you like to jog for an hour, or if you take really long craps or something. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe if uh, I don't know, you have a long commute to work or school. That would suck if you had to drive an hour to school every day. But you know, some people, some people may. Who knows? Or you could just listen to it, you know, in segments throughout the day. I don't, I don't yeah, give a shit. Just be you normal. Can, just yeah. whenever you want to listen, listen to it, it's there. All right, so I guess that's it. I'm done talking. I am also done talking. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everybody, and have an excellent day. See you. Excellent.